The four most common bone diseases. The most advisable thing is to prevent the most common diseases in the bones. This is achieved with an adequate diet from an early age and with moderate but frequent physical activity. The most common bone diseases affect millions of people in the world. The most prevalent condition is back pain and, specifically, the so-called lumbago which is considered the first cause of disability in around 160 countries, but it is not a disease as such, but a symptom. The human being has 206 bones that, together, make up the skeleton and provide protection and support to the body. Together with the muscles, they are responsible for making movement possible. Like all living tissue, they can become ill, especially during old age. Although the bones are completely renewed every 10 years, the truth is that bone diseases are very common. These have great potential to deteriorate a person's quality of life. What are the most common bone diseases? We will see it right away. 1. Osteoporosis, one of the most common bone diseases. Osteoporosis is a very common disease that occurs when bone mass is lost faster than it is regenerated. This causes the bones to lose density and therefore makes them weaker and vulnerable to injury. This disease is more common in the elderly, especially postmenopausal women. Symptoms include fractures that occur with minimal trauma, back pain, loss of height, and a stooped posture. Hip or spine fractures are the most common complications of osteoporosis. It is best to prevent its appearance with good consumption of calcium, vitamin D, and exercise. If the disease develops, treatment is carried out with medications and preventive measures against possible falls. 2. Osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis is another of the most common bone diseases. It is caused by the infection of some pathogen, almost always of the Staphylococcus genus. This can reach the bones through the blood or from the external environment when there is an open injury that leaves the bone exposed. The usual thing is that there is previously an infectious disease such as pneumonia, cystitis, etc. The pathogen reaches the bone and colonizes it. Redness and inflammation occur in the affected area, as well as fever, pain, weakness, and fatigue. If the disease progresses, it can cause necrosis and put a person's life at risk. The initial treatment of osteomyelitis is carried out by the administration of antibiotics. However, in some cases, surgery to remove the mass of dead cells is necessary if necrosis has occurred. 3. Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis is also one of the most common bone diseases. It affects the tendons and joints and is considered the most common joint pathology. It is estimated that almost the entire world population has some symptom of this pathology, after the age of 70. In osteoarthritis, there is wear and tear of the joint tissue, caused by aging. This disease causes pain, tenderness, loss of flexibility, stiffness, and other symptoms in compromised joints. It is usually treated with commonly used pain relievers, cortisone injections, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. Severe cases may require joint replacement surgery. The main complications are fracture, chondrolysis, impingement of a nerve, rupture of tendons and ligaments, and bone death. 4. Bone tumor. The bone tumor is not a very frequent condition and, therefore, it is not always classified within the most common diseases in the bones. Osteosarcoma occurs in less than one patient in 100,000 people and is the most common form of bone cancer. In most cases, what develops is a metastatic tumor. This is formed when cells from another tumor travel to the bones and settle in them. A cell mass is then formed that has uncontrolled growth. Typically, the origin is breast cancer, prostate cancer, or multiple myeloma. Treatment includes management of the tumor of origin, as well as radiation therapy or chemotherapy if the cancer status and health conditions allow. How to take care of bone health Although the most common bone diseases almost always occur in older adults, they can also appear at any age. The most effective measure to prevent these pathologies is to have a diet rich in calcium and vitamin D from an early age. It is also very important to include nutrients that contain magnesium, phosphorus, copper, boron, manganese, zinc, folic acid, and vitamins B6, C, and K. Similarly, regular physical activity is very important. That said, you need to perform the exercises properly to avoid injuries, such as fractures, the latter is the most common bone problem among young people. Prevention is better than cure. We have talked about four of the most common bone diseases. 
However, it is evident that those with the highest prevalence are osteoporosis and osteoarthritis. Both conditions are very common in the elderly.